so welcome to part three in building the weekend. So this is what we have now, the base frame and the export gantry. And I added a lack table if you want to build on a lack table, if it's awesome. So I forgot to tell you, there's more T-nuts we need to place inside the XY gantry. So we need all eight of the, these. And those must be inside, so you have to take off two of the corners and uh, slide in eight T-nuts and then drop the XY gantry onto the base frame. Let me do that. It's a little bit lag here. Sorry about that. So you want to drop the XY gantry on top of the base frame and tighten the screws and get the corners good and rigid. Nothing special to talk about. And then we want to print and uh, assemble the Y carrier. That is uh, consistent of two parts. So there's the fork and the top. And you can see the parts here. Some screws and some wheels and uh, yeah. Let's just see first how we print the parts. So we go to GitHub or Thingiverse and we choose the Wii Slide Y carrier first. So you need two of that one and you need to place it on its back when you print it like this. And you want some support and a brim to keep the support in place. So let's look in layer view. There you can see the support and the brim. Just to keep everything in place. Nice and good. So two of that one. And then you need also two of the weave slide fork. So the fork you need to place on the side, so turn it 90 degrees like this, drop it down, slice it with a brim, you can have the support touching build plate is all we need, support touching build plate also for the previous part, you don't need inside support, so like this and you need two of that, okay, so let's have a look and see. So uh, let's uh, first assemble the top. Let's get the, let's hide the, um, the fork and let's assemble the top first. So you want to place uh, the wheels inside and the wheels have these shims. Those are very important in this build. So we need a lot of them, maybe a hundred. And uh, there are M5s by 8 outside, and they are thickness are 1 millimeter. So one on each side of the wheel, and you can do the wheels here inside like this. So with the shims like this. And then you slide the the screws in with the washers and then the washers and the the lock nuts like this and you tighten that just about right so the wheels runs but it, it's not loose and uh, the thumb screw is going on after we place the the fork, so we need to place the fork first onto onto the X Y gantry, and so we need to drop the fork down. We need to place the um, this uh, screw. This is a hexagon. M5 by 20 screw which fits inside the fork that's important so take that and 
the four and drop it onto the V slot like this. And you can place the, the lock nut inside. And then there's the wheel. So uh, let's have a look at the wheel. And place that inside the fork with the shims as before and then do the washer and the screw and then tighten as you do then we can drop the the top uh, down and then with with the thumb screw you adjust the tension so the carrier runs good along the V slot. Then you do the same on the other side. That's all. So yeah, quick and easy. This is what it looks like all together. But you need to place the fork first, and then the top, and then the thumb screw to adjust the tension. And then you have you have something to start uh, to keep building with. And then in the next video. We're going to add this V slot and then we're going to add the X carrier. So, and the X carrier is quite complex, so that's going to be a long one. I'm trying to keep these ones short, so I hope you're happy with this as far. And sorry about the English, it's a little bit uh, rusty. Thanks for watching.